Welcome back to Fox and Friends First. A passenger dragged off this United Airlines flight. You've probably seen this video by now. Well, that passenger is taking some legal action. Yeah, Dr. David Dow's daughter and lawyers expected to address the horrifying video in just a few hours. WFLD's Anita Padilla joins us live in Chicago outside that where that press conference will happen a little later today. Good morning. Good morning, Heather and Abby. I'll tell you what, there is so much to talk about when it comes to this case. Today, the lawyer representing Dr. David Dow will be joined by Dick, Dr. David Dow's family. And we don't know exactly what they're going to talk about, but we can expect them to talk about possibly his medical condition and certainly that emergency filing that they put out yesterday because they want to preserve those very important records from that flight. They're actually looking for the cockpit recordings, the passenger list, even the personnel files of those aviation officers that were on board that you saw saw on that videotape. Speaking of that videotape, remember the earlier this week one of those aviation officers was placed on leave? Well, now the other two that you see in that video have also been placed on leave. And the alderman here in Chicago wants some answers from the aviation department. United's CEO initially defended the actions of those officers and the employees. Now he's got a complete 180 apologizing, even re refunding the money from uh, to all of those passengers who who had to witness this entire ordeal. As you know, they did offer passengers $1,000 plus a free trip the next day, uh, but this is costing them a lot more money. Even the president weighing in on this, saying that United certainly should have just offered more money to get people to volunteer up those seats. So it is certainly a lot of stuff coming out of Chicago. We'll be following this news and keep you posted. Reporting live, Anita Padilla, back to you yeah. in the studio. Does not seem to be ending. Thank you, Anita.